Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Free to Play Friday. My name is Chris, aka Sparta Chris, and today we are playing a book of beasts and buddies. And what we do on Free to Play Friday, if you've never been here before, by the way, welcome. Uh, we find a free game somewhere out there on the interwebs, we play it, and then we rate it from 1 to 5 on Does It Play and 1 to 5 on Does It Fine. Um, I think it's a visual novel. That's all I know. Let's get into it. Um, okay, so right away it looks like there's some sort of unlockable dedicated to Bud, Billy, and Blossom. I wonder if that's us or if that's supposed to be Bud or Lily and or Blossom. I don't know. It's maybe a witch? Dad taught me the ways of the wilderness. Mom made sure I always had snacks. And Blossom found friends wherever she went. When they could no longer travel to visit their favorite places and friends, I devised a way to bring creatures and places to them. I like the aesthetic of this thing already. This is pretty nice. I also really I dig the book design, the book layout. A long time ago, when I was doing... Uh, graphic design as a freelancer at a website that was designed to look like a storybook um, and it had like vines that g went through it and opened pages and stuff it was kind of cool so I so I uh, long story short I dig book designs in every way okay so there's nothing here so I guess I got a fill in the book is this okay so this is an ad for a different game tap three times to clear the log book okay so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven okay ten so ten things uh, maybe it's like a it's like a diary thacko i notice everything looks the same except for here this Attribute changes each time. Interact. Okay, let's see what that does. Oh! <laughs> Look how cute this guy is! He looks like something out of, like, um... Like Adventure Time or something. A scoot scoots near! Okay. He's a scoot. Oh, man. I gotta tell you, real quick. I love the aesthetic of, like... The, um... The real-world photos... And the blur and everything, like how sharp it is with the hand-drawn little creature, like photoshopped into it. That's cute. I love this. I love this a lot. Scoot, scoot, sneer. Okay, what can I do? What can I give him? You show the scoot some snacks from your pack. It simply smiles back and continues to scoot about. You poke the scoot. It's very sticky. You have some super sticky. Scoot spoot on your finger. Gross. Let's high five him. You raise your hand for a high five, but the scoot has no hands or arms or fingers. Oh. The only other option is to run away. If I... Okay, so nothing changes. Okay, so nothing changes. Uh, you realize that you stepped in Scoot Spoot, which hampers your movement. However, the Scoot isn't chasing you, so your slow retreat is successful. Scooty Patootie. Thacko, 19. I don't know what this means. So, it looks like we filled in some info, but not everything. And then I don't, there's like a blank space there. So I don't know if we're supposed to get like a new photo of them or what to fill in. Doesn't seem like there's a lot to do if that's it. That's all we do. <laughs> oh my god, I love him. His face reminds me of, um, the design looks kind of like, um, some of the creatures from Going Under. That was a great game. I think I played that on, um, I don't know if it was Free to Play Friday or, like, on here, or if that was on my old Spartacus YouTube channel, but I love that game. A Wild Gubbins appears. Um, share. Gums doesn't seem interested in any sex, but gives you a hug anyhow. Nothing. High five. Gums gives you a high five. So nothing 
again, so it doesn't look like anything really changes. Oh no! There's anything dangerous to hide from, and there isn't any gubbins to hide. Uh, isn't any gubbins to hide from either. The gubbins is gone. Oh, inspect. This is new. You observe your surroundings. There is no sign of any gubbins in the vicinity. Uh, you leave out some snacks and wait for the gubbins to come back. All right, you hear the gubbins calling from afar. Okay. I guess he's just gone. Okay, so we filled in a little bit more, but still we were missing some stuff. <laughs> okay, we've got like a little... Like a rock worm? Stony worm. Pokes his head out of a hole in the ground. Uh, let's feed him. You didn't think to bring any inorganic snacks that such a creature might find appetizing, but the worm appears to have unearthed a sapphire. Okay, so it eats gems. Let's wave at him. Perhaps because it has no arms or possibly because its twin gemstone eyes are actually in her eye spots, the worm does not wave back. Oh, so those aren't even actual eyes. Magic. Contemplate casting stone flesh on the earthen worm. You imagined it would become a flesh worm craving your flesh. That wouldn't be good. <laughs> Did it fart? The worm's stony skin feels like living earth. The worm excretes a dusty toot. You are unable to toot on command. You bravely run away. It's just nothing. Oh, I got a lot of info there. You're blind and perceive through taste, scent, and sound. Gem worms excrete a dusty powder and communicate via flatulence in a combination of scent and sound. Okay. What is this? It looks like almost like a hand-drawn like mirror thing. Uh, time seems to cease as you become lost in geometry so banal that you begin to forget your own existence. Let's try to feed him. It has no mouth. Oh, I thought maybe this was a mouth. Or any discernible feature worth noting you shudder and fall unconscious. Oh! Okay. Uh, try a high five. Your hand remains raised for reasons you cannot recall. For even the potential of excitement has departed from your mind. Okay, so high five didn't knock me out. Let's try it again. The forgotten phrase is a ling lingering shadow of consciousness. Okay, so this is doing something. A stick collides with your palm as it were as if it were a branch from Yggdrasil. Your mind blooms with thought. It appears to be a mundane stick, but you can't help but wonder why it is in space. Oh, it's just... Okay, so that's it. Can we poke him with the stick? You're overcome with existential ennui and fall unconscious. Oh! So we got something from him. We got the Yggdrasil twig. Level 5 vegan. Sandy lost 1d6 slash 1d20. Oh, we have like a little stamp. I wonder what that means. But we do have a stick. Okay. So now we know that if something starts changing, maybe we continue down whatever path we've done, like keep hitting that thing. Okay, so let's let's try the next one. Oh my god, I love his design. This guy's great. He's like a little cactus guru, man. Bearded cactus balances before you. Uh, let's let's give him a high five. You would rather not make a pink. That's a good point. Uh, poke. This moment you share a deeper understanding of the cactus. Oh. Yeah. Singing seems out of place. Oh, stand still? That's different. Okay. So something happened. 
uh, your understanding of the cactus grows. Uh... Okay, so that didn't do anything. As you practice the unspoken art of the cactus, you realize a high five is not with your hand, but with your heart! <laughs> what? Should we try it again? No. Let's try poking them again. Okay. I don't know what else to do. You go knowing that your bond persists, persists beyond distance and he gave you his fuzzon to commemorate your training. Fazon? Fuzzon? Oh! Okay, so we got something from him too. Okay, so I guess if we do things correctly, we should be getting an item from them. Oh, we got a stamp from him too. I wonder if you if you get the item, if you, you also get a stamp? Like you completed what you're supposed to? So, there's something I didn't do right with these guys, for sure. Okay, so let's try him again. Let's see what I didn't do right. Uh, okay, so let's... Nope. Okay, so instead of re replying first, now let's try magic. No. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, I love- it. Oh, there's the one dude! Oh! You got Gubbins. The Gubbins gives you a fanny pack as a prize. Inside you find more fanny packs for all your friends. Thanks, buddy. He gave me a fanny pack. I love this dragon. Uh... Wait, so is this for the Gubbins or the dragon now? Um, let's try to feed him. You glance down at your small snack pack and then watch as the dragon inhales a hill and washes it down with a river. I guess he doesn't want that. Um... Okay, let's explore. Explore, you sense that the dragon is directing you to its exceptionally overgrown mane of tall grass. You explore the ground beneath the tall grass and discover a sword. You recognize the sword from a catalog of swords and sundries. It's a Kusanagi no Tsurugagi. Tsurugi. Okay. Kusanagi no Tsurugi. The grass cutting sword. Ryu. Ryu was. Uh, was a mono. Ryu was a mono. Okay. Oh, that's it. Can we groom him? Use the grass cutting sword to trim the dragon's grassy mane. Picnic. You relax and have a snack upon the dragon's tranquil back. Okay, I think we've completed everything we can. You run barefoot across the dragon's lush back. The grass feels pleasant beneath your feet as you flee. Okay, so we got a sword. And we got the stamp. Okay. Garden dragons are a living gestalt of earth and plants. These colossal but gentle beasts are most often found lying through, flying through rainstorms to water their verdant backyards. That's cute. Oh, what's this one gonna be? It looks like a star shape. Oh my god, it's Bigfoot! Suddenly Sasquatch. Okay. Uh... Do we hide? She scrims and runs off. Oh, oh no. Okay, I did that wrong, obviously. Okay, suddenly Sasquatch. Let's call. You attempt your best Sasquatch call, but it comes off as a cat call. The Sasquatch glares and stumps off in a huff. Oh. We're not doing well. We're striking out pretty bad with Sasquatch here. Okay, sketch. <laughs> oh my goodness, yes! Oh my god, okay. I love this. All right, you start You start to sketch the Sasquatch, she strikes, I suppose. How will you portray her eyes? Oh, okay. 
Let's go captivating. Nose. Grecian flat, or wait, let's go Grecian. Let's portray her mouth. Uh, luscious, sweet smile, or duck. Let's go luscious. Her hands, bare, bare, or manicured, manicured. How you portray her fur? Silky, greasy, or faux? Uh, let's try silky. How you portray her feet? Little foot, big foot, foot loose, foot loose. Let's go foot loose. Oh! You reveal your masterpiece in the Sasquatch Coos. Yes! Uh, oh. You give your artwork to Yasquatch. Yeah, <laughs> she hugs you. She's powerful, strong. Yasquatch. Yeah, Love it. Okay. Uh, can we feed? You offer Yasquatch yeah, a cup of coffee. She shares some cake. You wonder where she's been keeping that cake. This is awesome. Okay. Magic. Detangling her tresses and providing much needed salon treatment. Though you're missing that certain je ne sais quoi. Um. Blows you a kiss and gives you muffins. Oh, so we got muffins. Oh, so we have muffins, but we did not get the stamp. What does that mean? Why did we not get a stamp? And we're missing some things. So what did we miss? Can we call her now? Nope. Okay. Um, let's try sketching again. Okay, let's try something different this time. Let's try lonely, wavy, duck, bear, <laughs> foe, and Bigfoot. Oh, you done messed up. Not happy. Oh, she's doing the duck lips right now, though. Uh, let's give it to her. And she casts an eclipse worth of shade your way. Oh. You offer Sasquatch some beef jerky. <laughs> but she has beef with your sketch and she thinks you're a jerk. High five. She shakes her head and shows you how nice she got her nails did. All right. Sasquatch looks at you like, who taught you to draw? You contemplate going to art school and fret about your crippling debt. Okay, so now, so I think the stamps are if you've completed everything you can with that character, because now we've got all of this. So it's like once you fill everything in, then you get the stamp. Okay, so. Oh, now I've got the fanny pack, though. Hmm. Hmm. I just wonder what I haven't gotten from, from them. Oh my goodness, a large lizard races around you. Feed. Oh. Okay, let's try wave. You wave your stick about. The stick? Okay, so, so I'm using one of the other items. So there's... Okay, so there's some actual puzzle part here. Okay, okay. So, I was trying to use the stick, but it didn't do anything. So maybe I need to do something else with the stick first. Hmm, Noxious Cloud lingers in the air. Oh, attacks. I don't want to attack it. Now I have a stinky hand. Uh, let's try to defend. For the cloud draws too close, so you inhale deeply and hold your breath. You cannot hold your breath any longer as you expel... Oh, it turned into a little mushroom wizard! Goodness. Who appears to be casting a spell. You narrowly avoid the mushroom's ray of decay. The log crumbles. Uh, copy the mushroom's cloud kill. Oh. So maybe I do need to attack at some point. Attack. Oh. Well, that didn't work out. Okay. Um. Defend. Defend. Okay, okay, okay. Now let's try. Attack. 
It lets out a little poot. The little poot is debilitating. You fall unconscious. Shoot. Um. Okay, so I'm doing something. So this must be an order to it. Uh, what did I do the first time? I waved first. A stinky hand. Defend. 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 The log crumbles. Okay, now let's try to attack. If, nope. Hmm. Uh, okay. Wave. Defend. 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 Okay, let's try to wave again. Oh! You wave your hands mirroring the mushroom's movements and you accidentally counter its cloud kill. That's different feed. Okay. The mushroom approaches ca cautiously but appears to be put at ease by your stinky hand. It trades you a pungent potion for a selection of your smelliest snacks. It puts put at ease by your stinky hand. Uh, it's out of magic. <laughs> Bob's showing the head, it hurts a little. The mushroom is also fleeing, okay. Okay, so I finished that. Stinky potion. <gasps> oh! I wonder if I can use the stinky potion with, um... This gives me an idea. Okay. Okay. Reply. Oh, I thought maybe the stinky potion would help. Oh! You imbibe a sip of your magic potion, the worm swallows a stone. Now let's try. You unleash an exemplary expulsion, the worm retorts with a plort. You collect some sparkly dust. Is that... Oh, you bravely run away. Did that do it? Yes, it did. Sparkle dust. Okay. Um... So I'm still missing some stuff with him. I wonder if he eats muffins. Do he eat muffins? Oh, his eyes widen at the sight of the muffin. He eagerly eats the muffin and gives you a hug. High five. Is that... Okay, that did it. Cool. So now, you are the one I don't know. Okay, he's not gonna eat the muffins. Poke. Oh, I used the stick. You lost your stick. Oh, that's not good. Um, Scoot extends an ooze-covered branch as an appendage for the stickiest high five you have ever experienced. Spook-covered twig sticks to your hand. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I think I got it. So now I got the Yggdrasil stick back and it's covered in spoot. Okay, when I left the first time, it talked about getting like being slow because I got the stuff stuck to me. So I wonder if I use that with the lizard guy, can I catch the lizard now? But I don't have a poke. Maybe we'll try waving the stick? You wave your sticky stick splattering scoot spoot everywhere. Uh, let's try to ride him. Then he's of advantage, you mount the lizard as he races through his daily duties. Nice, dude! You give him a back rub, it gives you a thumbs up. <laughs> Eats only the fastest of foods from his well-worn snack pack, you offer it a new pack. Okay, I think we... Those drops you off where he got on and leaves you with a whistle for future trips. A whistle! Marathonodon. I love it. Okay, so we filled in everything now except... Oh, we only got one left. Okay. We're on our last one. Alright. Uh, if you're wondering about the sudden change in appearance... <laughs> And lots of sweat. It's because I had to go cut the grass real quick because in Minnesota, by law, 
we're only allowed about an hour or two of nice weather a day. So, um, ready to, to finish this. Okay, Nightmare Apparition looms over you. This is a interesting looking guy. So is this like the boss of the game? GTFO? Okay, um... Turn. Hold up a magic symbol that you found on the back page of the book. The Wraith tears it and the book to tatters, trapping you in eternal darkness. You awaken later in a cold sweat. Fear still lingering from Psy Nightmare. Is that Omega? I don't know my symbols. Oh, that kicked us out. Okay, so that was not the right thing. So no turning. No turning. Uh, let's attack. Oh, he changed! Okay, so that seemed like that was good. The Wraith's blazing eyes gaze upon you menacingly, but you fling magic pocket sand in its face. Uh... Let's poke him. Okay, so he's getting even smaller now, so I think I'm on the right track. The poltergeist's hand is burning red, so you poke a marshmallow on your stick and get to roasting. Oh my god, so we're roasting a marshmallow on him. Uh, should we make him feel better? Let's high five. Though some ghosts may like high fives. Just the thought of a high five infuriates the phantom. It sprouts flame. Okay, so no, that was so that was bad. Nope. Okay, we're back. So we we did we attacked. We poked. Let's try magic. Oh, now he's a sad ghost. Countless tiny furry feet crawl across the nape of your neck and down your spine, but you imbibe a sip of your stinky potion and fumigate yourself, vanishing the phantasmal caterpillar. Okay, should we feed him? Oh, no, he's just a, a happy sad ghost. In desperation, the spirit casts sweets. You suddenly want to eat sweets and withdraw a muffin from your snack pack and share with the ghost. Sing, exercise, or exorcise. <laughs> uh, shall we try to exorcise him? You banish him. You aren't really sure on the procedure, but the ghost goes away anyhow. Oh. So, I got a bunch of stuff out of him, but I didn't get anything from him, and I didn't get the stamp. So maybe that wasn't the right thing to do. Enthusiasm of Spiritus. Diet Fear and Booberry Muffins. <laughs> Gung Ho Ghosts. Okay. Alright, let's try it again. Let's see. So we attacked. We poke. We magic. We feed. Okay. Uh, let's try s no, not sing. Feed, let's try exercise. You, the ghost, and the briskalisk go for a jog together. Oh, the, the little lizard guy. The ghost finds a new passion for fitness and gives you a key in gratitude. Okay, that sounds good. Spooky key! Oh, okay, so, um, where was, there was a thing. Here we go. Oh, your buddies, uh, your buddies have a present for you at squidershins.com slash buds. There's all of them together. It's cute. I wonder what the thing is. I'm gonna click on. Okay, so a website pulled up. It lets you download a, a mini art book. And it looks like... The soundtrack. Let's, uh, you know what? I'm not gonna look at the, I'm not gonna look at the art book. I want you guys to look at the art book. By playing this game. Okay, so, I think we beat it, then. Um, so let's, um, first let's, let's crack open this LaCroix. Real quick. There we go. Let's give this thing a rating. So on a scale of one to five, does it does it play? Obviously, yes. It, it works just fine. There's not a lot to the gameplay, but there is some some puzzle. I mean, minimalistic puzzle solving. 
um, in the visual novel kind of style and a lot of just kind of playing and seeing what works. Um, but nothing mind-blowing. So I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5 for that. Does it fun? I, I think a lot of the fun comes from seeing the different types of creatures themselves and the art itself. Like, I really like the style of everything. I love the uh, the blend of the characters, the hand-drawn characters with the photo, the realistic photo backgrounds and like how they're blended in with like the different, um, you know, using the, the blur for perspective and stuff. I think that's really unique. I think that's really interesting. And they're just really interesting characters and creatures anyway. I think there's just an an undeniable undeniable charm to the whole thing. They think's adorable. And I'm a pretty big fan of that. So Um As far as does it fun, I think I'll also give that a three out of five. Um, again, nothing game-changing, nothing mind-blowing, but it was fun. It was a good time. Uh, just silly little laughs and stuff from seeing some of these characters and some of the interactions. So, I'm gonna give it that. So, combine them 6 out of 10 total. Not bad, not bad. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And play this game. Um, like I said, it's a, a book of Beast and Buddies. You can play it for free. So there's no reason not to. Uh, get it on Steam. Uh, play it for free. And then you can download the, uh, the art book and the soundtrack for free. Once you uh, complete it and unlock the... Um, your buddies here, this little photo here. So I think that's a really cool way to incentivize beating the game is giving you additional things for um, finishing it. So very awesome, very cool design. And I might have to look for more games in the future from Squish Squidershins. That's just cute. So awesome. Great, great, great job, everybody. Um, again, thank you so much for watching this. Uh, if you're still here, know I love you. And uh, make sure to enjoy the rest of your Friday. Uh, because if you don't, I'm gonna, I'm gonna squish your shins. Or, or I'm gonna have a squid do it. I'll have a squid squish your shins. Bye.